Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And we're getting straight into it <clears throat> as the Russians send a pretty large fleet uh, to interfere with our operations off Oman, which we've just taken off them. Um, it would be good if we could uh, knock them back a bit. All those destroyers, though, it's going to be it's going to be tricky. Plus, this fleet um, might not be in the best condition. Uh, oh, actually, apart from Long Dock, uh, they look okay. Right, let the chaos begin. Yeah, we've got a nice uh, set of hotels there. And here come the Russians with their dreadnoughts. Uh, is that their battle cruiser? Yes. Oh, wow. That's, um, that's a lot of guns. <laughs> Did you put any armor on that ship? like 110 at the moment. Mm. By the way, if you're seeing this behaviour, which you will be, because... <laughs> <laughs> happens pretty regularly where you're just trying to put ships in a line and they do all this crazy nonsense. I do know why it happens. So here, Long Dock is following Burn. She knows she should be this far away, going in a certain direction, going at a certain speed, right? Magnum E here knows she should be kind of here and is accelerating up to get into position. But when she reaches that position, she will, in a moment... Ships have a tendency to over-accelerate and go past the position. And then they do this big circle to come around and come back. Actually, she managed that quite well. But if they have another ship behind them, like Kano here, and then Magnum e comes around and comes behind the Kano, the Kano goes, oh wait, I need to be behind Magnum e. Kano doesn't think I need to be here in relation to Solferino. She thinks I need to be here in relation to Magnum. So if Magnum goes goes and does this, uh, Kano and is going to follow, and then Bellicose is going to follow. So you get all this. It's increasingly chaotic as you go down the line, basically. Um, would require a total change of how the code works uh, to fix that problem. It's not something I can do. So if you are encountering that, I do apologise. Right, there's the destroyer. Want to prioritise killing off the light ships. But uh, you can actually use the uh, chaos in the wow, hit by torpedoes. You can actually use the chaos in the formation system to your own advantage. I was doing a testing battle uh, yesterday, and I managed to get a battle cruiser up to eighty knots um, because of all the chaos at the back of the line. Uh, and then when I detached it from the division, it was still doing eighty knots, which was hilarious. You avoid on. Feels like that torpedo is tracking me, even though it isn't. 
Yeah, piss off. Right. right. There's no obvious target right now. I mean, they're shooting up this destroyer, which is fine. Got him too. Nice. Wondering why am I focusing on the light ships? Um, there's two reasons. First of all, uh, light ships with their torpedoes basically act as a little barrier uh, that prevents you. From, like I can't close in on these battleships because of these light cruisers over here. I'll get torpedoed. Um, which stops you bringing the battle to a definitive uh, kind of engagement. But as well, if the AI is nice enough to give you a bunch of destroyers to kill at once, or a bunch of light cruisers, it's a lot easier taking them out in a big battle like this, where you have a load of uh, battleships, than it is trying to take them out individually one by one with your own light cruisers and destroyers. Um, it's a really good opportunity to thin out enemy fleet numbers. Right, can we please take out that destroyer? It is concerning me that it's back there. Okay. Focus on taking out these other light ships. Is their battle see their battleships are still closing? Oh, very nice. I think they're going to sink. At least I hope they're going to sink. Yep. Next one. Oh, she did fire at all. Have to rely on the torpedo avoidance. Did get plenty of warning that she'd launched. What torps are they using? 19 inch fasts. Yeah, pretty visible. Oh, defense torpedo out. It's that's hilarious. Oh, Carno. Oh, nicely done. Right. Magnami does avoid. Good, good. Right, one destroyer left. Although, I think there might be some back here. Yeah. Focus on the Narva. Oh yeah, these are the ones where they're really uh, surprisingly... I remember them now. Oh, we've got some torpedo hits in the back there. Torpedo's going long. Uh, long dot taking a little bit of fire. Taking a lot of fire. I'll uh, cycle her out. Oh, 
Oh, a torpedo hit. Nice. Yeah, these uh, Russian ships could be a bit of a challenge for us. Can we stop target switching, please? That would be nice. Oh, Carno takes a big hit. Long dock is going to sink. Yeah, down she goes. Oh, another torpedo hit in. Oh, oh, oh yes. Nava goes boom. Out of main gun ammo. So she's less of a threat. Try and finish her off later. Oh, another torpedo hit. Mm, Carno again takes a pretty sizable hit there. I think Carno's going to have to come out of the line as well. Oh, now we're getting this wave of torps coming in. Solferino. Hope you're carrying it well on that. Oh, shit. Yeah, she's going to need to pull out of the line as well. Still, we've, we've done a fair amount of damage to the Russians here. We haven't sunk any of their capital ships though, which is slightly annoying. Kind of hoping the Narva would sink. No ability to scrap or mothball. Uh, I uh, actually don't mind if I lose ships. <laughs> right, that one's going out of the line. Cruiser. Hmm. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I said, have a look at this battle cruiser. Didn't realize it was then going to instantly explode on me. Hilarious. I don't even know what was shooting at it. Yeah, burn out of torpedoes. I'm guessing... Oh no, Magnum E does have some. Bellicus does not. Destroy the main gun. Ah! <laughs> Another one flash fires. Superb. I would love to go in for the kill, but... Oh, actually, that one just sinks anyway. Perfect. that again guys that'd be super helpful uh, they're coming in again with destroyers uh, they 
modified. Is getting out of the way. No, oh, no, no. This is just general retreat now. We've uh, done a decent job here, but this is just time to withdraw. If we can, of course. I was worried about this ship, but that's the Narva, who is out of main gun ammunition. Bellicus is the one I'm worried about. She's going to have trouble getting away. I'm not answering her helm either. Well, she might accidentally sacrifice herself to save the other ships here. Magnamy also having steering trouble though. I think Burn will get away here. Oh no. Uh, Carno and Solferino should be able to get away. Magnami and uh, Bellicurs, though. Unofficial rear guard having some problems. Magnami, you've got torps. You get a torpedo off on the uh, N3. No, oh, Bellicurs goes down. So does Magnemi. Right. I think the other ships should be able to get away here. Uh, so I should be able to see you on the post-battle results screen. Rather than having to have you sit through all of this. Um, I'll see you there. There we go. Wow, looks like we're claiming victory. Although... Hmm... We lost three battleships. They only lost one. Although, to be fair, uh, two more of them are severely damaged. Um, and so is one of the battle cruisers. They lost three of their light cruisers and all of their destroyers. Um, most damage done by Longdock, even though she sunk. But occurs, and Magnamy also acquitting themselves extremely well. Uh, dealing out tons and tons and tons of damage. Okay. Okay. Right, uh, back to the map. Alright, so I've ordered the uh, three remaining ships to head for Fort Bayar. Um, just to keep them out of the way of uh, the Russians. I th at least I think that is keeping them out of the way of the Russians. Might be sending them towards the Russians, for all I know. Um, <laughs> at any rate, I think there'll be more help over here long longer term. Um... Looking at our situation, no one looks like they're going to come in against us anytime, anytime soon. The Russians, that has definitely caused them some issues. They're not repairing all the ships that we damaged yet. Um, so I think that has re... Oh my god, their army lodgy. Yeah, that has caused them a lot of issues. A lot of issues. Um, so I think we need, just need to press our advantage as best we can uh, and I think 
that means sending uh, a fleet up here to see if we can take um, South Sacklin. Um, this should progress quite well, attacking to northern China. Still no attacking to eastern China, annoyingly. Uh, we've taken Oman. Yeah, the only other thing would be to try and attack Crimea. Perhaps. Uh, but that would be then be very isolated. So I don't think that's in, in our interests. Not right now. Uh, so I'm going to go end the turn. Right. We've successfully taken uh, South Sacklin. Um, I think I'm going to try and go for Vladivostok. I know that's usually a completely pointless endeavour. But I'm hoping, even if it's just to port strike it a few times, um, I'm hoping we can maybe take that port. Because if we can, then that is that, that pretty much stops the Russians from being able to do very much um, in, uh, in the Pacific region at all, to be honest. Uh, all of the uh, battleships... Oh, Kano's in battle. Uh, I was going to say are repaired, which means the shipyards are standing idle. Um, I do have a lot of ships out at sea. What is the next ship up for a refit? Yeah, the Britann. Um, I might come back to the Britanns. I might do the Tricolors, because most of them are in port. Um, in fact, yes, let's get the Tricolors refitted. I think we can uh, make a bit more of a difference with them. Uh, oh, God. Right. Okay. Um... weird going on here. I don't think this gun is going to fit anymore. Hmm. Might need a full-on rethink. Well, one thing we can do is put on a jewel barrel. Can we get any barbettes? No. Um... See, the problem is these boats at the back here completely get in the way. Yeah, I don't think there's anywhere we can fit a 155 on the back. Hmm. I mean, we can technically, <laughs> like, have them with the same number of guns that they used to have by putting four on the front. <laughs> um, and then... Yeah, no, those don't get in the way. Uh, plus, plus four. There we go. Uh, and we can lengthen these guns too. We can make them 45s if we want. Uh, 80 mil 38. I tell you what, let's do that. Um, a little bit of a strange rearrangement. <laughs> but they've gone from three guns to six guns. So that, uh, three guns to four guns, so technically an upgrade. No more coal. Geared turbines, auxiliary diesel. Uh, improved electric steering, uh, slightly better armor, reinforced bulk kit too though, that's very important. Um, superior shells, better turret mechanism, bigger torpedoes, uh, that'll make a significant threat increase, so we'll Changing their range finders. We'll get them an RDF as well. 
Uh, I think I already upgraded their armor, didn't I? Yes, I did. Yeah, I don't think I need to change their armor. Uh, they already have maximum range, maximum bulkheads. Can make them spacious now. Uh, I guess repurposing this bit to crew. Because <laughs> you, you won't need the, the, the rear magazine and hoist and all that. Um, I guess we can just try and push their speed. 23, 24, 25, 25 knots. Uh, an extra 4 knots. Uh, I mean, going for 25 knots is hardly super speed, but it's it's noticeably faster than 21 knots. And uh, there we go. Refitted Tricolors. Um, they certainly uh, have an interesting look with these hyper-modern looking turrets on a tumble home hull with the ore, ore guns. <laughs> mm, Frankenstein's ship at this point. <laughs> okay, I'll save that. I'll get them all, all the refitting and uh, I'll, I'll get back to, well, actually, I think there's a battle to do. Right, uh, looks like the Grand St. Louis and the Carno, interesting uh, tag team, have found two Russian battle cruisers guarding seven transports. That could be an interesting pickup for us. Not sure how much the fighting Carno is going to get to do. Pretty sure this is the first time we've seen uh, the 350 millimeter armed battle cruisers sailing into action to try out this new gun. Look at the size difference, though. Mind you, the Carno will be perfectly capable of uh, causing absolute carnage to the transports. Mm, we are getting the odd hit, which is pretty crazy at this range. Another hit. You've changed target for some reason. I don't know why you're doing that. Nice shot. Bit of damage there. Oh, that wasn't. One of them went long and hit the other ship. There was a bit of flooding. Ooh. Nice little uh, hit there. Broadside on. Oh, yes. Ah, ha, 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 ha. sink from that. 
Hard to tell without the uh, master system display. But maybe. Yep. Outstanding. Right. Can we move the same to the other one? Carno unfortunately does not have torpedoes available. Been knocked out. Recently, keeping up the pressure. Oh, nice, Carno with the hits. A main belt pen. <laughs> Screw you, Orenberg. <laughs> Getting beaten up by an old, <laughs> a very old ship. Well, that's just embarrassing. Well, oh, transports. Uh, probably crapping themselves right about now. And uh, I'll uh, leave you to enjoy their destruction. There we go. Two battle cruisers gone. Seven presumably important transports. Back to the map. Hmm. A heavy cruiser appears to have um, made a bit of a bit of a bit of a tactical error <laughs> and blundered into the <laughs> blundered into the Versing Uh Not. Not, um, not to their best plan. I would be running away, personally. I was that heavy cruiser. Hmm. I don't think they have. Or if they have, they're not running away fast enough. No, they're coming in. Yeah, that is a very typical looking heavy cruiser, apart from that cool little uh, secondary gun arrangement on the back. Bang! Oh my god. Has that sunk? Them. That flooding is, well, almost under control. No, I didn't sink them. Crippled them, though. Oh. Yeah, we can stay out of range of their guns completely here, I think. Ammo dead. Yeah, sunk without them even firing a shot. Oh dear. Well, I mean, that just happens when you arm a cruiser against a dreadnought. That's never going to go well. Alright, so it's now uh, February, and... What's this one? No, that's not, not an interesting one to do, but... Uh, <laughs> the Jamop? Jamapes? <laughs> Jamapes! Um, really want to anglicise it. Well, it's a Venga class, which we haven't seen in combat before. They're pretty new. 
um, against uh, an armoured cruiser. be interesting to see one of the French uh, Dreadnought-style cruisers up against a pre-Dreadnought-style cruiser. Uh, interesting for me, anyway. Pretty sure uh, the Russian isn't going to enjoy it very much. Guns firing. There we go. A little bit fairer than one of these things running into a battleship. Torpedoes away. Interesting. It's all been uh, an exchange of HE so far. Oh, there we go. Hit their conning tower. Destroying the bridge. Oh, and they take a torpedo. And then they turn broadside on. Not actually as much as I was hoping for there. What kind of armor are they running? 122 mil. We should be able to go through that at this sort of range. Uh, when they're flat on, of course. Get the main tower again. Uh, try some HE, seeing as they're coming end on to... Oh, then they turn. Well, we got them anyway with very little damage to the Jemaip. Very good. Right, uh, it looks like the Russians are trying to disrupt our invasion of Vladivostok. Um, you might be able to see behind the window here. We've taken northern China, and again, it's a little hard to see, but the Russians took Manchuria. We are trying to push back into Manchuria, and there is finally an offensive going into uh, Eastern China. Uh, so we need to get rid of this this offensive. Hopefully, we should be able to manage that. Certainly have plenty of force for it. Uh, but the other problem is, I got the riots. Uh, event, which is incredibly bad, because it basically wiped out all of my reserves, um, which I wasn't particularly happy about. Right. Enjoy, enjoy that chaos ball. I'm not going to attempt to uh, try and sort that into a more sensible set of divisions. Got a lot of uh, a lot of firepower here. It's an unrefitted tricolor. Right, 
think that has gotten into some semblance of an order. You guys can torpedo the battleship. That would be quite excellent. Uh, shift click main guns on the cruiser. Smoke. One torpedo away. You can withdraw. Next, yeah, you can withdraw too. And you fired as well, you can withdraw. Nice little uh, spread of torps. Uh, battle cruisers advancing nicely. They're taking on whatever that is. Oh, that heavy cruiser taking a big hit. Torpedoes went nowhere near the battleship, which is hilariously true to form. I love how I just ordered those battleships to shoot at this ship and they go and shoot at a different one. Mandy, what happened to you? You took a torpedo. How? Battleship getting wailed on. Okay, finally finished off that light cruiser, which means it's just the battleship that remains. Not getting away. All directions. Nowhere to go. Oh no. Hmm, down she goes. Lovely. Good. Back to the map. Oh, I may have hit the uh, Russians a little bit too hard. <laughs> they have collapsed. Uh, which means I seriously need to get my budget under control. 
Uh, I because I have no no slash fun. I'm temporarily going to put literally everything on pause and desperately try and get all those ships that are at sea uh, back in port. Okay, with positive balance. Good, good. Um, yeah, I'm going to do all that off camera. <laughs> and, uh, well, I guess I'll see you again uh, for the next episode when, uh, well, maybe we'll be doing some building. Uh, what are we getting in cruiser? Nothing. Okay. But, uh, yes, all that will be for next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.